the episode ain't come out yet, but I did an episode on Funny Marco show with uh, with, yeah. the, with Dwight Howard. Okay. Yeah, Dwight Howard. I'll wow. Tell y'all a funny story. Um, yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. I call it getting like back. why? Why it's so much harder to be that way rather than just be real. Like I'm gonna tell this story here. Uh, the episode ain't come out yet, but I did an episode on Funny Marco show with uh, with, yeah. the, with the White Howard. Okay. Yeah, the White Howard. I'll wow. Tell y'all a funny story. Uh, I walk in, he's already sitting down. You know, the White Howard tall. He look and see me, and he shake my hand, but then he instantly, he was already feeling like a monster toward me because about the things I said about yeah, him yeah. Um, on, on on my skits. He said, man, you know what? I would have fire your ass. I sure wish I'd have been there. Man. And I was like, you ain't going to do shit with your muscle neck ass. <laughs> so they like, you should go sit down beside him. In my mind, like, this motherfucker's seven foot. I ain't <laughs> so I go and sit down beside him. We finna get ready and debate, you know, go at it. Right. And then Funny Marco walk in. So I'm getting up because this day show, they finna. Yeah. And Funny Marco, like, no, sit your ass down. <laughs> like, no. He's like, nigga, sit your ass down. So we do the show. I can't really get too much detail. Yeah. But what I will say, and he, the way how I tell you that, he felt some kind of way about what, some things I said about him or whatever. And, um, but we put, we put that shit to the side and, um, we got we got some business we finna do me and do. He in, he in uh, Taiwan right now. That's hard, but, man. Uh, he, he told me, like, bro, you know what? Man, let's get a bag. Mm. I got something for you, brother. Mm. Let, let, let's let's get a bag, man. And then you know, after you start becoming friends with somebody, now you finna get the real. So real yesterday, mm. so yesterday again, he brought up. I really want to fire your ass up for saying I was grabbing <laughs> nigga meats in the sours. <laughs> so you know me, I'm like, that's still on his mind. I'm like, bro, you heard that shit? He was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. Cause he say LeBron and then we, we all watch your shit. He was like, I was with you. I was with you. <laughs> then I seen that shit like, man, bro, trippin'. <laughs> bro, you figured it out, bro. That is hard. Like when you figure it out, man, for you to figure out those avenues of how to get people funny in those different places, to go in these crevices and make something mm -hmm. that nobody ever even done. That's hard, man. So like I said, you know me, I'm so nonchalant to what's going on with people. I don't really be knowing. So. Once I finally started getting trying to tap in, I'm reach out to people like who is that right there? Man, that's uh, the Damian Lemon. What, what about what, what do you say? LLC, it be hard during the season, but after season we can do it. So this nigga already rocking with you. What is that about though? What did you ask him? I ain't read. All I asked him, could uh, um, could we do a skit? Okay, you know, let's do a skit. We, we got, we, he was like, well, it's hard during the season, you know, but after yeah. the season we can do whatever you want to do. That's hard, mm -hmm. man. Like, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.